All right, fellas, are you struggling to make gains? Maybe you've tried everything, but you can't seem to make any progress. Yes, I know it sucks. I've been there for myself for my first few years of training. I made no progress, almost no visible progress whatsoever. So I know how it feels, but luckily for you, I have made all the mistakes. So now you don't have to. In this video, I'm going to go through the number one reason which prevents people from building muscle and what you can do to fix it. All right. So how I can explain this is, well, actually I did an Instagram story poll a few uh, last week asking people what they struggle with most training or nutrition. 80% of people said nutrition. And then I asked, what do you struggle with most nutrition or sleep? And it was like 78% said nutrition. So nutrition was a clear winner. And then I put sleep against training and sleep was the clear winner. Okay. So people think nutrition is number one that they struggle with. Sleep is number two and training is number three. But when I go to the gym, I see a different story. Okay. Now your nutrition can be very bad okay you can be eating fast food but as long as you get enough calories and enough protein you can still build muscle there are many people you just see them they have awful diets they bulk on fast food i'm not recommending this by any means but it is possible to just eat fast food and eat crap and still build muscle as long as you're doing these other things that i'm going to talk about in a second okay your sleep can be extremely average okay say if you're only getting five or six hours a night you're going to know that your sleep needs to improve and it's a very obvious thing that you need to fix okay but you can still build muscle on five or six hours of sleep is it going to be harder yes of course it is but still possible um what else what about your hormones okay your hormones uh well they can actually prevent you from building any muscle whatsoever but you're probably already going to know if your hormones are not good or not because you're going to just feel like crap okay so you can just get tested and see if your hormones are the issue when it comes to diagnosing why you're not building muscle usually it's the non-obvious things it's the things that you think are completely okay which are not for example for myself when i first started training okay <laughs> Uh, I literally 14 years old. That's the early, the youngest I could sign up for the gym because they didn't let anyone in under 14. Okay. Me and my friend, we go to the gym and we used to do 40 minutes on the treadmill, like flat out. And then we used to do all the machines in the gym, like uh, in the order that they were laid out in the gym. And then we would do the free weights. But for the free weights, we didn't know what to do. So we would watch other people and see what they were doing. And then when they'd finish, we'd just copy whatever they were doing. <laughs> okay. And we did this for a few months until some like older teenage lad, maybe like early twenties or something said, look guys, I see you two in here every single day doing the same thing. Do you want me to actually show you what to do? And we just looked at each other and we were like, yes, please. Okay. So then he taught us about sets and reps and different muscle groups, different days, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But at that point I was like, ah, okay, cool. I now know how to train. Um, I'm and then I was just focused on all the other things. Okay. And I see this all the time is people think their training is good and it's not, it's dog crap. Okay. Their training is not good at all. And it's the number one thing, because if you don't train properly, you will build zero muscle. Okay. Even if everything else is extremely average, you can have really bad nutrition, average sleep, average genetics, average everything. You can be completely natural, no PEDs, no trend. But if your training is sick, you will still build muscle. Okay. But if your training is like very bad, you can go to the gym for months and years and make zero progress whatsoever. And if that sounds um, a little bit sad, that is the reality for some people. Okay. So if you're going to the gym and it's been a few months and you're not built any muscle, the number one thing that I would look at before anything else is your training. Okay. And I used to think after, uh, I'd, after I'd had that conversation with the guy in the gym, I used to think my training was good. Okay. This was when I was like, I don't know, 14, 15. It wasn't until I went to university at 19 years old and I trained with my friend called Johnny. Okay. We had a session together and he just trained like an absolute savage. And I was like, whoa, like 
chill, bro. Like you uh train like this all the time, or are you just trying to like I didn't know whether he was just trying to impress me or something like that. I just I didn't know. And he was like, Yeah, I train like this all the time. And fair enough. You know, we did a week of training together. I was like, damn, this guy trains like an absolute savage. And it wasn't until I'd met someone who was kind of training and trained with them at that level that I truly understand what it means to train hard. Okay. So where people go wrong the most is number one, they don't know how to execute the exercise properly. Okay. And I've made a previous video related to how to actually lift weights to build muscle. I'll put it on the screen somewhere. Okay. So go watch that to learn how to actually execute an exercise properly. But then even if you know how to do that, then you've got to push yourself. Then you've not got to be a pussy and actually lift proper weight. And it's not about how much weight you lift. Okay. How hard you train is not necessarily about lifting more weight. It's about using the weight in a smart manner to elicit the response that you want from your muscles. Okay. So I, when I go to the gym, I'm not pushing massive weights. Okay. But I'm still doing hard sets. Every single set is somewhere between 10 to 15 reps. And the last, say, three to five reps are a struggle. They're a grind. Okay. I've really got to put effort in to, uh, you know, to, to complete the set. Okay. Sometimes I won't even get to 15. Okay. The last few reps are ugly. And it's got to be that way. If you do a set and all your reps of perfect form, you're not training hard enough. You're not pushing yourself. You need to, you need to do more weight or you need to do more set, uh, more reps. Okay. And you don't need to be in the gym for ages. Okay. 45 minutes to an hour maximum. It, I like, I'm not, uh, like it's quality sets over quantity. You don't need to go in there, be doing five, six, seven sets per exercise. If you're someone who's doing that, I know for sure that you're just not training properly because if you were training properly, you would not be able to do that and recover from it just because you would absolutely run yourself into the ground. Okay. So number one reason why people, uh, why someone isn't building muscle is because their training sucks. Okay. So learn how to execute the exercise properly and then don't be a pussy train like an absolute savage. Okay. If you don't have a coach, it's very hard or if you're training with someone who is just uninformed, you're both uninformed. So it's not like you're going to know that you're not training properly. But if you have a coach or you train with someone who actually knows what they're doing, you're going to be able to get feedback on the exercises that you do. And you're going to be able to learn how to do the different movement patterns. And then you're going to learn how to increase load while still performing the exercise correctly over time. And that is how you're going to build muscle. Okay. Because your nutrition can be extremely average, but just get enough protein and calories and you're pretty much good. Uh, I'm not suggesting that, but I'm saying as a bare minimum, that's what you can do. If your hormones are messed up, it's very obvious. You're going to feel like crap. You can go get tests done. If your sleep's not good, you already know it's not good. You already know that might be the problem. But the most sinister uh, or least obvious reason is just for their training because everyone think their training is good when it probably isn't. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you need any help with your training, nutrition, your feedback on performing exercises, anything like that at all, I do coaching. The links are in the description down below. And other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Go train like an absolute beast, and I'll see you in the next one.